everyone! So I'm actually on my way out and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what my daily makeup routine is. It really takes me just about five minutes to do it and it's really beautiful and I always get compliments on this particular look that I'm going to show you today. So if you guys like seeing these, I have a lot of different looks that I do. This is one of my staples so I'm going to do this as my initial one but if you like videos like this let me know and I'll do um, the different looks um, that I actually use on myself for every day. So I've um, all I've done is I'm right out of the shower and I just put on um, this tinted moisturizer by Dermalogica. You can use any tinted moisturizer. I just like this one because it doesn't make me break out and it helps to even out your skin tone. And then what I do is I actually um, use a, a concealer. This is Laura Mercier, the Secret Camouflage, and this is um, SC3 is the color. And I take the light, the lighter color right here, and I actually go ahead and I just go under my eyes and down the sides of the nose and just kind of fill in the shape, bring it out towards the hairline. And this just helps to lighten the whole under eye area and make you look a little bit more rested. Then you want to go ahead and cover the eyelids just to help even out the pinks and blues that can be there. So I do that as well. And then if you have any other redness on your face, you can touch in those areas too. So like I have a little redness right there. I usually go up above the eyebrows, um, on the sides of the nose. So right here on the side, down the center of the nose, I usually have a little pinkness. And then on the chin. And if you have any other breakouts or anything, just go ahead and cover those up as well. And then you definitely want to go ahead and set all that with a setting powder. So I'm using the Makeup um, Forever HD um, powder. It's a translucent powder and it's great for um, all skin tones. And it really helps to set your makeup. That way it'll stay where you put it for the day. And you don't have to do a lot or make it heavy, um, but I just like to put it in the areas where I put the concealer. Okay, and then especially under the eyes, because with this look you'll see we're going to do a lot of mascara. And if you don't have a translucent powder, the mascara tends to get onto um, this area right here. So you want to go ahead and make sure to set it really well with powder. Okay, then I move on to the cheeks. Now with this look, there isn't a lot of um, eye color, so you want to kind of counteract that with some color in your cheeks. So I'm going to use this color right here. It's called Margin. Apply it to the apples of the cheeks first, and then push it back. Okay, and sometimes I just dab a little onto the eyelid, down the nose, on the chin if you want to. It's up to you. Okay. Alright. Then I like to add a little bit of an iridescent powder. Now this one is called Belightful. It's by MAC. And I talk about it on my blog if you want to read um, about it. I think pretty much all of these products I talk about on my blog. Um, and I just add the shimmer powder to the tops of the cheekbones little bit down on the cheek just lightly and then down the center of the nose I'll go um, under the eyebrow and right on the bow of the lip right here okay um, let me zoom in and we'll do the eyes okay so now that you can see the eyes I just use one fluffy brush and I'm gonna go ahead and start with this color right here it's just a light color um, the one I'm using is called orb and what I do is I just apply the orb to um, my lids, like all over. And then I mix together this color right here. It's called Hoax. It's like a brown purple. And then this color right here called Kid, which is like a really light brown. So you mix those two together. And I just place that 
right in the crease area. And then I use a shiny color, so I'm going to use floof. And see how shiny it is? Do you see how you can see the, sh the sheen on it? And I take that and I'll put the floof right on the lid. And if you want to, you can add a little bit more color into the crease. That's up to you, whatever your preference is. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Then what I do is I go ahead and I grab mascara and I'm going to be using um, the Voluminous Original by L'Oreal. And I like to use, I really love my Full and Soft by Maybelline, but when I do this look I want something that's going to be a little bit more dramatic on the lashes. Um, just to help define the eye. So in this particular mascara is really clumpy and thick and kind of gives you that false lash look. So I like to do like two or three coats of this mascara on the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll be back with the lips. Okay, so now I have my mascara on and I'm going to go ahead and do the mouth. So usually with an everyday look when I'm really trying to get out the door quickly, I just do um, a little bit of moisturizer and a gloss. So I'm going to start off with... Um, this moisturizer, it's by MAC, it's old, um, but I love it and I still use it. It has like a little, tiny tint of brown in it, but any moisturizer will do. So go ahead and just hydrate your lips. And then I'm going to use this color right here. It's called Cultured and it's by MAC as well. It's a gloss. And just go ahead and apply it to the mouth. And I like this because it picks up the, like the pink purple that's in the in my eyes and it goes together really well so just put that on and I like to put a nice layer of gloss on the mouth okay and that's it I take down my hair I'll go ahead and I'll fix my bangs a little bit and I am good to go and that's a really fast way to do your makeup in the morning. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and um, let me know if you like to see these videos and I'll get more up for you guys. Stay cute everyone. Bye!